Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, poor air quality alert through 11 o'clock this evening, then it's reissued again beginning tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. through 11 o'clock tomorrow evening. This time it's uh, statewide high concentrations of ground level ozone. It'll be coupled with another very warm day. Check out live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. You know, locally everything is fine. You have outdoor plans and obviously a lot of people taking advantage of this gorgeous weather right now, uh, cooking in the backyard and things like that. It's fine. Even though I'm tracking a couple of isolated showers up through the Berkshires and Worcester County, these should weaken with time as they drift off to the south and east. We'll watch north and west of Providence for a little five minute shower early this evening, but at this point, those chances are pretty small. Blue skies in Warwick, Oakland Beach with sunshine, temperatures still in the 80s. Along the south shore, uh, the sea breeze has kicked in. It's cooled back into the 70s, but we are nice in Providence and still pretty warm. You see a little haze uh, off in the uh, distance. Temperature now still mid and upper 80s inland to the uh, mid to upper 70s along the shoreline. A, a great beach day today with uh, temperatures uh, that were well into the 70s before that sea breeze kicked in. Threat tracker now through Thursday and Friday, low level green. Really don't see anything significant as far as extreme weather, big thunderstorms, downpours, and strong wind, though we do have the air quality alert coming up for uh, tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon. A little weak system coming through northern New England with a couple of isolated showers, otherwise very quiet across New England. And the closest uh, widespread rain and thunder is still well to our west and really not playing a factor in our forecast over the next uh, couple of days. We're getting real close. I'm going to show you the temperatures. That's the big weather story. Starting off this evening at 7 o'clock, low 80s inland, 70s at the coastline. It's a warm night. In fact, through the midnight hour or through 11 o'clock, it's still in the uh, low 70s. We, we haven't had many nights so far where it's felt like a summer night. Well, tonight's that night. It'll be in the 70s through the midnight hour, then cooling off into the 60s late at night. Tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., starting off in the upper 60s. Here comes the warm-up. Notice away from the coastline around 82, 83. And with the sea breeze, the south shore nice in the lower 70s. By tomorrow evening at around 6 o'clock, we'll cool back into the 70s. Sea breeze should be more pronounced tomorrow. So the beaches warm up and then they cool down late day. Travel tomorrow overall weather-wise is looking good. Sunshine tomorrow morning, rapid warm up through the 60s and 70s. Dry roads and good visibility. And then during the late afternoon and early evening, partly sunny skies. Temperatures will get into the 80s and cool back into the the 70s by late day and early evening or sunset time at 810. The warm weather extends through at least Sunday before a slight cool down Memorial Day Monday. Again, beaches are, are looking OK tomorrow. Sunshine, sea breeze kicks in. Temperatures in the low to mid 70s. Safe sun time around 10 to 15 minutes. The water is still kind of chilly at 55, but it's heading in the right direction. Partly sunny 79 on Friday, 85. In fact, very warm on Saturday, slightly cooler, but it's all relative on Sunday, partly sunny in 80, and then back in the upper 70s, Memorial Day Monday with a mix of clouds and some sunshine. Waiting a long time for this, and it's here. And we're glad it's here. <laughs> All right, thanks, Tony.